What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a great week, and it's off to a great start, blessed start. We're uh, in the middle of 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'm Steve, and this is Pastor J.J. What Rosner up, what up, what up? How's it we, going, everybody? We Move Church. That's right. You heard it right. We Move Church. Uh-oh. So buckle your seatbelts. Things are, things are coming at you. So, uh, Pastor, how's, the, uh, how's day two? Dude, day two, let me tell you, I feel like I'm winning right now. Yeah. I do, man. I had an awesome time engaging with the prayer service this morning. Um, church yesterday was good. It's a little cold around here in Minnesota, but it's what we do. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, but yeah, dude, I'm feeling good right now. Like, man, I got some Holy Spirit juice going right now and feel like I put my flesh under and got out of bed this morning there we and go. Uh, started getting into the spirit. Come on. You know how it is, yep, right? Yep, that, yep. that alarm comes in the morning Oof. and sometimes you just got to push through that thing. It's not and, good. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I had to do the same thing this morning. We got into the New Year's resolution thing, even though everybody's kind of not doing that anymore. But yeah. we started working out again, and man, that alarm hit, and I was just like, oh my gosh. But well, one thing I love about this year's 21 days of prayer and fasting is I feel like for myself, I'm more prepared coming into it, because yeah. it was there was this little gap in the beginning of the year to where it wasn't like, boom, right out of the gate, we're, we're into 21 days in prayer. Yeah. No, and so I having it a little bit later helped Yeah, the me calendar prepare. hit really nice for that. And I think, too, I think kind of the core of our church is all in. Yeah. You yep. know, like yep. it really feels that way this year where kind of the core of the church is all in on 21 days of prayer. I mean, we've been doing it for years and years, but... Um, Man, it just feels different this year. It like, does. man, it, you know, like 2022 is hitting different, and I think it's hitting different in a good way. Really good know? way. Yeah. So, I guess one question that I had, and I'm sure a lot of people have it because I'm ADD, okay. like crazy. Yeah, yeah, I can relate to Most that. Most creative people are. We're just all over the place with stuff. <laughs> Whereas, like, when I sit down to pray and, like, be intentional about prayer, it seems like that's, like, I get into my quiet spot. I try to do everything I can to make sure that I'm ready for prayer. Yep. But then I get there and it's just like thoughts and everything just starts flooding my head about what I should have been doing here, what I could have been doing there. It's like everything just hits at that time when yeah. I'm wanting to focus on just praying right. and just talking to God. It's like, do you have anything? I know like, it's odd on the timing on that, isn't yeah, it? It's, yeah, yeah. it's very, very coincidental. It seems like when you start going into <laughs> times of focused <laughs> prayer and all of a sudden, you know, important things you've been trying to put off for, for weeks that you've been like successfully procrastinating all of a sudden come right to the front of your mind. Right, it's shocking right. how that happens. It's crazy. Now, and you know what? That happens to me too. I mean, that happens to everybody, I think, um, especially when we go into to focus times of prayer, yeah. right? When, we, when we've when we told ourselves, we've scheduled our time, we said, hey, this is the time that I'm going to set aside from the Lord, and then all of a sudden we get bombarded with everything else that needs to happen, happens to absolutely the best of us. Um, and I think this is a really great topic to talk about so early in 21 days of prayer because right. I'm sure everybody's kind of feeling it. Um, but let me just give you a quick pro tip. Uh, it, one of the things that I do, and, and this works for me, I mean, I, I don't know if it'll work for everybody, but most people I think it works well for, but I keep a, a notebook, just a, a pad of paper with me and a, a pen or a pencil at all times when I'm praying. Cause man, I might, God might put a, a, a scripture on my heart or I may get a, a word or some direction or, or, you know, I may have, uh, you know, just a word from the Lord, but I also keep this with me. Um, not just for receiving from the Lord, but also offloading the things that are on my mind. Mm. So, because one of the things that happens is when you actually write something down on paper, yep. well, you get it off your mind and you park it somewhere else. So your mind actually lets that go. Ooh, that's good. You know, and so it's a great, it's it's just a great tool for keeping that piece of pad, that pad of paper. And, and you know what, when you're getting into focus times of prayer early on, like when you're just starting to do it, right. man, that list is going to probably be pretty long the first couple <laughs> of times you do it because all of a sudden a lot of stuff's coming to your mind. That's okay, Yep. right? Offload those things off your mind. Like even this morning, um, uh, there were things from the church service yesterday that I know I have to follow up on today that just kept hitting my mind. So I just, I write those things down and then I offload them off my mind. Now, what that means is I've got a really long to-do list today, <laughs> right? However, it also means that I was able to hone in my focus on my prayer time this morning as well so that it, I wasn't being 
overwhelmed with all the things that need to be done. Because that's what will happen. If you don't offload it and actually park it somewhere, it'll keep coming up for the next 20, 30, 45 minutes, hour, right. however long you, you've decided that you're going to pray. You'll keep mulling over all of those things. And all of a sudden, you'll find yourself praying about those things, even though they don't matter, yep. right? Or even though they don't necessarily need prayer. I mean, we, we need prayer and everything. You right. understand that. But but uh, there's probably more important things that the Lord would have you pray about in your life, family, and your spiritual growth and in your relationship with him than like, you know, changing the filter on your furnace. Right. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Like, yep, yep. And so um, instead of going all in and letting your mind just continue to mull over those things, you know, we're going to tell our mind to be quiet. And we do that by offloading those things so we can turn our mind to God. There's actually a scripture in Romans chapter eight uh, that says uh, the New King James says to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Yep. Well, I, I like the way that um, the, the NLT lays it out because it says it says this. It says, so letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death. Right. And, and that's not to say changing the filter in your furnace is right. your sinful nature that's leading to death. However, it is all the rest of the carnal things of our life that are trying to really take control of our spiritual mindedness. Yep. Right. Yep. And so what we're doing is we're just not allowing that to happen. And a real easy pro tip way to do it is just write those things down, park them somewhere else yep. so that you can focus on prayer. I mean, it's super simple, practical, but I'm telling you, I mean, I've been I've been doing this for, you know, uh, 25 plus years. And, uh, and, and I can tell you it works for me. And I know a lot of people that it works for too, but the discipline then becomes just make sure you have something to write on when you go right. to prayer. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing too, that I always get caught up in, in those situations is, is when I tr I'm trying something new and it doesn't work the first time. I, I automatically just think it's just not going to work for me, but I think it's, e it's good to remember, good. give it some time. Give it, yep. Try it again. Try it again because you're not going to be perfect at it yeah. the first time. You got to keep on, keep on, keeping on with that list so that you can get mm -hmm. better. And it's right. And what does perfect look like in this anyway? Like exactly. I, I don't think there is any any like being perfect. I, I think you just get better at learning how to navigate um, your 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 world and you get better at navigating your spiritual world you get better at navigating your your mental and emotional world and um and and what we do i you know i heard somebody say this is so you know you, you don't your success in life regardless of what it is right now we're talking about spiritual things yep but they they don't just they don't rise they, they your success will rise to your habits sure right but they'll fall to your not not your bad habits but your systems to 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 actually um uh, live out those habits, yep. right? So, so you you know we we just learn over time. We're going to create systems like I mean, bringing a pad of paper and writing down your uh, your uh, um, just your distracting thoughts. Yep. Right. Like that's a system. Yep. Right. I mean, I think we overcomplicate. Well, what you know, what is a system? What does it mean for my life? Well, it's a It's as easy as you know. I'm going to bring a pad of paper with me. Excuse me. Right hitting the microphone here, <laughs> but uh, uh, bringing a pad of paper with me and writing down my distracting thoughts, you know, yep. that, that's a system. Yeah, exactly. It's, 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 <coughs> it's as simple as that. And it just takes intention yeah. and bringing, bringing those things with you and making sure to remember. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's good. So this week, I mean, take prayer seriously and you're going to see, see serious things happen in Come your on. life. I like that. Serious, great things happen right. in your life is if we take this time of 21 days of prayer and fasting and we just get serious about taking some time to pray with God. And one thing I want to, I want to point out too, is our pastor here literally takes this so seriously. He's going to head out of town and he's going to literally just immerse himself in prayer and fasting. And I, I want to say for myself, I appreciate that about you oh, and how serious you. you take that. And so I just want to, I just want to point out to people, if you take this serious, it's going to be great. It's everything's just going to start. You're going to feel it. Yeah. It's well, just good. And I'll tell you what, once you get a couple of wins under your belt, man, you'll look forward to it next year. Yep. You'll look forward to it again the year after that. And man, I didn't start out taking time out of my calendar, my annual calendar to put time aside for this. It was, I started to experience the wind in my sails That's because good. I was putting, uh, giving the Lord the first part of my year before I gave the first part of my year to anything else. Yep. And because I experienced the wind in my sails through the rest of the year, because I experienced the direction of for my own personal life, not just for our church. I mean, I go away and I receive kind of the, the theme for our year for the church as well. But just for my personal life, it wasn't until I experienced some of those wins that, you know, I, I really started taking it more serious. Yeah. And so I would just say, like, practically for 
you. You don't have to like schedule, you know, time in your calendar away yet, but that time might be coming because when you take this time serious, you put the Lord first, the first part of your year, you're going to start to see God do some things in your life that, uh, that he's never done. And all of a sudden you're going to start looking forward to it every year. Mm -hmm. And then before you know it, it's actually going to become part of your regular annual routine. That's what happened for me anyway. I would hope that it would happen for you as well. Cause man, God's good. It's amazing. James said that when we come close to God, what does he do? He comes close to us. That's right. And, uh, yep. and, and I'll tell you what, I don't know about you, but I would love to have the, the, the creator of the universe, right? Come close yes. to me. Let's you know go. what I'm saying? The miracle worker, yep. the way maker, right. the healer. Like I want him to come close to yeah. me. I don't want to be far from me, yep. you know? So anyway, yeah, I love but, that. Yeah, it's good. I think I'm excited. I really am. I do feel like I'm winning on day two over here and, and, uh, I don't know. 2022 just seems like it's hitting different. I yep. hope it's hitting different for you guys. Right on. Thank yeah. you guys so much for tuning in and checking this out. We hope it's been a blessing to you. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments uh, below and we'll be sure to uh, get back to them. But thank you again so much and uh, have a great week. All right.